G'day folks, it's the Wolf Brothers here. We're live on the lot on Skippy TV. This is Ain't Seen It Yet. Round here we get high on that cascade blue. Stuff going on back when there ain't much to do. Everybody around here knows my last name. It's written on the road sign and written on the gate. Right around six, there's a red sunset. If there's anything better, man, I ain't seen it yet. Whoa, whoa, everybody needs a place that they know they come home. Keep my boots in the dirt, tell my names in the stone. This kind of good is as good as it gets If there's anything better, man, I ain't seen it yet Granddaddy's 68 Ford still sitting in the shed Didn't outrun the rust, but it'll outrun the wind Better pretty from the city, brought her out to the farm. Yeah. Put a ring on her finger and a name of my own. Got a love burn slow like a lit cigarette. If there's anything better, man, I ain't seen it yet. Whoa, everybody needs a place that they know. They come home Keep my boots in the dirt Tell my names in the stone Cause this kind of good Is as good as it gets If there's anything better Man, I ain't seen it yet Oh, 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 oh. No, I ain't, no, I ain't seen it yet Oh, oh Round here we get high on that cascade blue. Keep getting back up and keep pushing on through. Whoa, whoa. Everybody needs a place that they know they come home. Keep my boots in the dirt, tell my names in the stone. Cause this kind of good. It's as good as it gets If there's anything better, man, I ain't seen it yet If there's anything better, I ain't seen it yet No, I ain't seen it yet I'm Melanie Dyer and you're watching Live on the Lot on Skippy TV and we're here today with our very special guests, country rockers, the Wolf Brothers. Hey guys. Hey mate, how you doing? I'm good. Great performances before. It was fun. It's great to be here playing. Felt, felt really cool. Oh good. Well it's good to have you guys. Now let's first clarify, okay, so you guys, uh, Tom and Nick, are Mate. actually blood brothers. Yes, correct. And you've legit got a brothers. Yeah, legit. <laughs> legit. And you've got your best mate Brody, brother from another That's right. mother. I've yes. been hanging around long enough to sort of become part of the family. So you're like yes. adopted. So enough mother. hot meals at the Wolf Residence yes. to, to be considered part of it. <laughs> Good. Thing, every Sunday night we'd hear Brody's car coming up the road and then mum would say, okay, now we can serve. Yeah. They'd wait for me. <laughs> I thought it would be more like lock the doors. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it is nowadays, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Free Sunday roast. Yeah. I like it. Uh, How did you guys meet? Uh, well, we all grew up together, obviously, Manica Brothers, but yeah. Brody lived just down the road and... Um, yeah, we used to catch the bus together at yeah. school. And oh, I think awesome. that was kind of where the friendship started, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? 
Because yeah. we, we were the cool kids at the back of the bus. So. Oh, that's do awesome. Wanna, <laughs> do you want to know when these two first met, Brody said to Nick, he said, come around to my house. I've got this old paddock basher car. Yeah. And the first day I ever met, Nick got in the car and drove the car and crashed into the fence. First time I ever met. So you did bash that, it up. That did okay. happen. That yeah. did happen. Yeah. So it's hilarious. It started there and we're still here. I so. hope you're a better driver now. You're in Sydney, so you're um, obviously in the traffic. And... Yeah, no, I've sorted that out now. No prangs? Nice. No, <laughs> no, touch wood. But, okay. Um, touch wood. Man, I've got to say, you know, driving in Sydney is uh, still a challenge for yeah. us. Simple, oh, simple I'm from a farm boys. as well, yeah. so I understand. Yeah. Country kid lost in the city. Oh. Anyway, a hectic yeah. time. But you guys, you've obviously got a really strong bromance. You're four albums into your career now. So, yeah, good <laughs> job. Um, <laughs> let's talk about, wait, first, when you celebrate the release of like a fourth album, mm. do you like celebrate by getting, like, getting a momentous uh, tattoo for like. It's a great idea. Have you got a tattoo? You know, you know what? We haven't <gasps> done this, but do that. we've got this within the um, album, Country Heart album mm -hmm. CD label, we've got this beautiful heart design made up, this Country Heart design. And we have talked that we should maybe. I'm considering doing it anyway. Or I think we should you guys all do should it. do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd like put that. it on the band cards. That's sweet. special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you're yeah, not excellent. really uh, officially a brother band until you get inked together. Yeah, that's so. a cool idea. Yeah, maybe we should. I mean, th so yeah. it was a. We came up with the, the idea of this heart piece, and then uh, the guy who designed this tattoo actually, we got him to draw it up. And this took six hours, so. Um, Wow. Cool. Yeah, so lock yourself in, fellas. Great, yeah, <laughs> great. Right, yeah. Yeah, right. I'll leave that with you guys. It's be good. <laughs> Let's talk about the album, Country Heart, um, produced by Matt Fell, genius yeah. producer. He's won so many um, golden guitars Absolutely, for his work. Yeah, he's won all of them. <laughs> Yeah, look, yeah, every yeah, single one. <laughs> first time working with Matt? First time. Not the first oh, yeah. time, actually. Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, so we did a thing, a uh, single with Matt many, many years ago. Um, two, I want to say 2010, Yeah, okay. like, like long ago. Um, but, yeah, so last album we did in Nashville. This time we brought it home and um, we really wanted to change things up. And, you know, I think it's a different album even for Matt. Mm. You know, it is. You, yeah, you it is. To, yeah. Uh, a lot of the stuff Matt does. I think he really loved it. Like we, we went to him basically. We had a meeting before we embarked on it all, and said, "Look, mate, we want to really change things up here. We want to, you know, blow people's minds of what the Wolf Brothers are about, mm. and, and maybe even push the boundaries of what people are kind of doing yeah. in an Australian scene." You know, You've definitely and, done that. And yeah. um, he was like, he got excited. Yeah. You could see mm. his actual body language. I, I think he, when we had the meeting, I think he thought, "Okay." These guys want to make a country rock album. And mm -hmm. then when we kind of said, well, no, we want to do this, you could kind of see him like, okay, yep, yeah. yeah. I want to make, you could see he was like, I want to make this album. And that's was, what you want from it, a producer, right? Yeah, that's exactly yeah, we really need, we that's, that was sort of the main thing. We want someone who's excited about the project. Yeah. And, and Matt was, he just, he poured his heart and soul into it. So yeah. we yeah. were just so happy it worked out that way. Yeah, yeah. well, you can definitely hear that, um, mm. that there's a lot of love in it and a lot of um, passion. And you guys have definitely, um, you know, gone outside the Wolf Brothers box. Totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's all about pushing yeah. boundaries and getting out of the comfort zone, you know, for, for Matt and us. Yeah. Um, and I think that, was like it left a lot of scope for creative freedom. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't pick up a guitar for two weeks. I read that. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. insane. Obviously, yeah. that, would, that would have been hard yeah. for it you, was especially. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, oh, what, what's when you're, happening? When you <laughs> listen to, you know, the, if you've listened to any of our past albums, they're very guitar heavy, very drum mm. heavy, and and we would that's how we recorded because you know we started in the pubs. So when we record, we'd all get in the studio, boys would strap on electric guitars, drummer, away we go. We just wanted to start different in this album. Yeah, the yeah. Pop, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but what it does, it doesn't leave you much space for anything else. Yeah, really. yeah. You, know, well, you can barely, get, barely yeah. get the yeah, vocals yeah. on there. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but we just wanted to, I don't know, the, the big thing was give each song on the album its own unique personality and yeah. whether that be some sort of weird synth thing mm. or some mm. cool like sort of drum loop or it could be just a, Good old guitar riff in some cases, but yeah. just really whatever it was, take the time, find those things that make mm. each song yeah. its its character, yeah. and, and really highlight them rather than just bang out a bunch of tracks with two electric guitars and drums blaring yeah. the head off. And yeah, then, <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. I think the format yeah. of making an album has kind of changed in that sense. Every song on your album could be a single; they could stand alone as a single to radio. Mm. Um, I think well, um, I've got my personal cool. favourite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pay me now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, as opposed to back in the day, they would make albums and they had sort of filler songs yeah, that would yeah, yeah. just kind of, you know, slip through the gaps. Yeah, we've but. always tried to avoid filler, haven't mm. we? We've yeah, always we, we haven't strived. always done it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we haven't tried. always achieved it, but we've never, you know, I, never agreed to I, doing I, that. I yeah. think, you know, within this band, I think, you know, where we're at now musically, 
also personally, I think it's probably the best place we've ever been. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that really helped with the songwriting, mm-hmm. you know. We're, we're loving doing this. I think we're doing some of the best shows we've done. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it shows in the recording. You can sort of, you can hear how much we're enjoying it, you yeah. know. There's no tension. We're loving this. So yeah. um, I think that really come out and I think that really helped the record. So For yeah. sure. And, like, you guys are so energetic on stage. It brings the songs to life in a whole other way. Um, <laughs> you've been working with Lee Kernigan for the last few yeah. years. Has he sort of taught you anything about, you know, oh, mate, performance they, they, and... Yeah, there really honestly couldn't be a, a better um, apprenticeship you could ever want yeah. to do yeah. in, this, in this scene, yeah. you know. Man, like, it's... Honestly, I mean, we've known the guy for a few years now and we're, we, he's a pretty close friend, mm-hmm. you know. But sometimes I, I still have to just sort of pinch myself yeah. and go like... Yeah. Yeah. Hang in with... You know, <laughs> yeah. And I, I, really, yeah. I always find it's the moments on stage, you know, like... Whether, you know, if you're playing a festival to like 20,000 people and you're doing like Boys from the Bush mm. and you can see the people, you know, he can make them literally cry. He can, you know, yeah. he's, he's, people are so in love with these songs. Yeah, totally. And we're it's kind it's of like st- part of like the fabric of Australian culture. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Bush, you know? yeah. And you're, and you're playing that song and people are losing their minds. That, that's, you're right. That's when you kind of go. You kind of go, wow, this is. Oh, I'm playing with Lee Kennedy. This is pretty yeah, special. Sat, mm-hmm. How's this happening? So, yeah. But he is also playing with the Wolf Brothers. So. <laughs> no, no, it's, <laughs> yeah. We, I've got to say, honestly. It all works very well together. We have such an amazing time yeah. out there on the road with him. It and, looks like fun. And yeah. I, th- I think, honestly, I think, I think he wouldn't mind us saying this. He's like our biggest fan. He's yeah. been so good to us and such a supporter and, um, you know, we, we sent him the album before it was done and he was just like so He would excited. have been so excited. So excited yeah. and he just loves it. And the one, I guess the one thing we've really learnt um, doing so much with Lee is, you know, he's what just celebrated his 25 years mm. since Boys in the Bush and he's still chasing better songs. Yeah. Mm. Every night he's thinking, mm. how can we make this show better? How can we play this better? How can we record better? It, it's really yeah. cool. And for us, you know, it's it's... It's really great to see that, yeah. just how much he's always trying to make what he does better. So um, we, we love being a part of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so did you road test some of the new songs, like on the, t- on the tour with we, Lee? Yeah, we did, yeah. 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 We, we road tested um, a song called Something Out of Nothing. We've been playing uh-huh. live for a little bit. We've kind of had that one written. It's kind of one of the first ones we had written for mm-hmm. a while. So we've sort of been playing that. That's been an interesting one because it sort of varies from the uh, album version a bit. I've managed to... Yeah. Whether these guys like it or not, I've managed to um, make that like my guitar hero moment. <laughs> and I'm just you need like, that. yeah, oh, boys, we're going to tack on um, 15 minutes of me doing a solo <laughs> to the end. He's of not the joking either. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But oh no, it's just, it was just going to sort of happen one night. Um, I don't know where we're playing it, but um, I think I, I just I just got a new guitar. I think that's what yeah, it was. Well, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah. I was like. It oh, tests it out. Gonna, just gonna do yeah, it. Oh, like, we're going to finish the song. We're like, da da. Nick's like, he's like, I got other ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was good. But remember, uh, Casey's face is like, oh, I'm getting drunk. No, but it's, you know, like that's the thing. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much a singer because no, none of these guys wanted to do it. You know, I'm, I'm, you guys can both sing. Sometimes. And you're uh, you're doing more of it now. I'm I trying, saw I'm a trying. video yeah, on Facebook yeah, the other night. Yeah, live. look, I'm all about value adding, so if I can sing and we can do some three part. <laughs> well, we're all trying to get I wouldn't bought myself a keyboard. Yes, I'm I saw that. To, yeah. I still haven't managed to get that into the gig. Yeah, I don't well, know. Well if you've got a fifteen minute solo, yeah. surely yeah. give him a chance at the keys. Mick, well, I did bring it up and Nick was like, no. Well just keep practicing Tom. Yeah, yeah, let's just Exactly. On the back <laughs> um, I want to talk about the film clip um, and the song Ain't Seen It Yet. Mm. Um, it was shot down on the berry farm, the Wolfberry farm, um, where you've spent a lot of time on, uh, you know, there and you guys grew up there. Um, I was lucky enough to visit the farm a few years ago and I met um, your late father, Malcolm, who yeah. was a true gentleman. He drove myself and my mum to the airport one snowy morning. <laughs> I did too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Because yeah. you were going to get stuck, weren't you? I was yeah. going to yeah. get stuck and he took us to the airport. He was a true gentleman and unfortunately we lost him a few years ago now. Um, I want to talk about filming the clip um, down at home. How yeah. was that? Look, the, the whole approach, and I think it's been one of the approaches we took with the album and the recording, is, you know, Start less is more, mm-hmm. and um, you know we've been we've done so many clips, and going into this clip, I was looking back at all of our stuff, and I'm thinking, man, there's so many shots, there's so many stories, there's mm. so much happening. I was like, we really just need to focus back on us, who we are, where we're from, and less is more, and and the whole idea of the opening shot, because every line of that song is true, and you know the yeah. name's written on the road sign. It's written on the gate. It's because, so heartwarming because it literally yeah. is written on it the gate. It is. Road, it so. is. It really is. So we sort of thought, you know, let's just let's just start this really simple, and mm-hmm. um, 
We originally wanted to do one continuous shot down the entire driveway, um, and we got Josh from Filmery involved, and and he went, yeah, let's let's divide it up. In there. <laughs> <laughs> and he was great. He too. was amazing, yeah. and he actually, we had this initial idea of one shot, and he sort of helped take us to the next level. And I mm. think it just really showcased is who we are and where we're from. And actually, the the Ute in the film clip, which is um, the lyric is Granddad sixty eight Ford. That is our granddad's 1968 awesome. XT Falcon, yeah. which uh, we all used. We used to go to the quarry with it and dad. <laughs> we used to go and take um, our fruit from the farm to like Cascades Jam Factory and Doran's Jam Factory. So yeah. it hasn't ran in 10 years. Wow. So we got it going for the clip. That so, is awesome. Yeah. So very, very the, cool. Um, the, that clip is great. Yeah. But we're really excited about the next one yeah. too. And what is it? What's the so next one? Country Heart. Woo! Country Heart. So and, next uh, single. Yeah. You know, so country. we also shot that one at the farm, and this that one's very special. Actually, when Dad passed away, uh, we found all these old uh, old VCRs and oh. beta camera. Dad was a bit. Of, he'd, he'd always have a camera, camera. and be filming yeah. like. And hours. he was a muso too. He, he was, played. Yeah. yeah. Love. Awesome. So, yeah, he's so, got like hours of his gigs and yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, just we had it, it all converted into, into you know digital, so we've got it forever, you know. Yeah. And um, but man, we found some you know stuff of us growing up, like playing guitar, like and priceless footage. Priceless. Yeah. yeah. So what we've done is um, you know, well yeah, I'll just have to tell you. But Come on, give it away. Yeah, we've yeah. gone around the farm and we've projected the old images onto the current day. Oh my gosh! Images yeah. wow. and, and it's like we've seen one draft of it, and uh, a lot of tears were shed. And yeah. it's, it's I can only imagine. Probably the most special yeah, it's thing incredibly we've done. personal. I yeah. cannot yeah. wait yeah. to see that. When's that one coming out? Uh, we're going to release it in the next couple of weeks. We haven't got a date yet. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we're very close. We've, we've seen the first draft. We're nearly so happy with it. But oh, we want to make I'm it. So we want to make, we make it perfect. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So, it needs. Yeah. It needs. It needs time in the treatment. And yeah. I'm and excited. I'm sure it'll lead to more CMC awards. You guys have a bunch under your belt and you've so. yeah. Yeah, got a couple. We, we, look, actually, talking about Kearney again before, Kearney again said a great thing to us after the CMC awards the other night. He said, boys, I think you're hanging out with Shannon Noel too much because you keep coming second. <laughs> <laughs> the tally, it's a curse. The golden guitar tally, I think, uh, is uh, 13 losses. Oh, yeah, lost a lot yeah. Is it 13? Yeah, 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 you guys are go you're definitely going to get well, a couple for this lot, well, I mean, there's album. A of, yeah, there's a lot of talented people out there. Those Dan yeah. McClymonts keep... Yeah, uh, yeah, it sucks that they're yeah, a group. Getting them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can we just, Come on, girl. One, one, just one year, can you just go away from it? There's three. No, it's good. We'll get one one day. Well, you're very well deserving of them, so I... I really good. hope that this album brings those gold guitars for you. But, I mean, you know, the awards don't. Uh, don't no, and that's right. And the, the main thing is, you know, people are, are embracing the music and uh, making it part of their lives. Mm. And, and that, you know, I think they are. You know, they are. Absolutely. And, I mean, the thing is for us, we've, we've toured for the last six years and gone out and played to so many people. And for us, that's, that's what it's about, you know, going to play shows and have people Singing every word of his the song trophy, and having yeah, something, yeah. having it mean them, mean something to them. That for us is, that's better than anything. That's everything. Better than any totally. Yeah. And um, okay, speaking of playing, so you've got the new album out, um, Country Heart. Are you going to tour? We are. The album? We're currently finalising some dates. We're going to announce a heap more. So check all the websites, Facebook, Facebook website. socials, all the Wolf Brothers awesome. stuff channels. But um, we really want to get out and play with yep. the album because um, I think it's our best work yet and. I agree. Yeah, we're yeah. very excited to get out and take it on the road and do what we do. What we do. do what you do. Do what we do. Maybe slightly differently. Yeah. Slightly different. <laughs> and fifteen-minute guitar solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fifteen-minute guitar solo. We'll go to a thirty-minute guitar solo. Yeah. We'll see how, I'm going to see how long I can do that. <laughs> I might do a bathroom break during that. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's like what I like about it. Yeah. But it seems to go uh, really right. well. Like I'll just play like one note and then I'll leave it for like in his ten head. seconds. <laughs> yeah, and then people are like. Yeah, 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 he's doing <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll be there with bells on um, at the tour. I'm so excited. I love the album. Thank you, well done on everything, guys. Um, Thanks so much. And you're watching Live on the Lot, and that's the Wolf Brothers. Hey, folks, it's the Wolf Brothers. We're live on the lot on Skippy TV. This song's called Country Heart. Two. Behind a fence line, a 12 gauge pepper on a road sign. Is it a dirt road up a black top? A dead man's name beside a map dot. Is it a mailbox? Says the last name. The 
lonesome run But like the cold train Is it a dust cloud Behind a John Deere Knowing you're never gonna leave here It's who I am It's who we are And that's why it makes A country heart And it's the song Of all that's parts And that's why it makes A country heart is it the gray ink in a tattoo you hit from your mama back in high school? Is it your first beat or your first car? Old war stories from your grandpa. Is it your first love on your first date? Stealing a kiss upon the tailgate. Is it a handshake from a old man? Buying a ring and making big plans. It's who I What makes a country heart And it's the sum of all that's parts And yeah, that's what makes a country heart Is it the long days, stuck in sunrise? Feel that alone under a big sky? Is it the diesel or the barbed wire? Breaking your back to fight a bushfire? Is it the new grass after a big flood? Trying to be half the man your dad was? I guess it's in the blood, yeah, it's in the jeans. Hard work, love, and all that makes me who I am. What makes a country hard? And it's the sum of all that's parts. And that's what makes a country hard. And that's what makes a country hard.